Saturday, September the 19th, 2020. I'm taking a video of the black 1968 Nova I have for sale. Upon inspection of this car, it appears that it's had a frame off nut and bolt restoration. I was given a folder full of receipts of uh, maintenance and care uh, performed to this car since the restoration. It's been painted in a very expensive, high-quality paint, not an economy paint, something like uh, Standox or Sickens Base Clear. And um, it was built in New York around Staten Island by either a, a higher-level or senior-level law enforcement officer, uh, apparently a wealthy uh, person that uh, wanted to build from scratch, starting with an original sheet metal, rust-free car, a supercar um, based off of the 50 Copo Novas that were ordered through Fred Gibb in 1968 uh, and then allocated uh, many of them to Dick Harrell and converted into uh, 427 supercars under the Copo label. The uh, documented uh, authentic 68 Nova Copos with 427, of course, sell for around $200,000. Uh, I don't represent any parts, options, or features of this car uh, guaranteed as original or born to the car. I do, do not guarantee any of, of those uh, parts, options, or features as original or born to this car. Uh, again, this was a car that was built from scratch, nut and bolt restoration it uh, is a factory sheet metal car as you can see chrome is very nice excellent trunk pan doesn't even have that surface rust texture in it. No seams or anything back here. The GM stamps in both quarter panels. Very nice deck lid. This car has had thousands of dollars of suspension modifications and it was done in a first class way, not a hillbilly hack job. All set up professionally and it looks very clean how the uh, frame connectors were put in and the Caltech bars. This car and I'm fighting with the glare of the sun here. I should have waited till later in the day to take this video. But as you can see, the rockers have the factory pinch welds in them. The floors in this car are just superb. The exhaust system, even though it received a new exhaust system at the time of the restoration, 
here in the last uh, few months. The exhaust system was again purchased new uh, because the owner wanted to quiet it, prior owner wanted to quiet it down some. Now it has a two and a half inch turbo muffler system on it. Sounds really good. The, the grill is the correct Argent Silver. Detail work and bright work is, is nice. I don't see any, any cracks in the uh, grill or anything like that. SS louvered hood. Paint has a lot of clear on it. Very deep shine. Looks like you can dive into the panels. Very reflective. Um, if it wasn't so bright today, uh, I think the video would be better. The uh, This is such a powerful car. Uh, it, it, the prior owner said he just couldn't control it without almost wrecking the car if he climbed into the throttle. So he had to put on these Mickey Thompson drag radials. They're a P25 60 R15. And uh, these wheels, I have receipts for the, the rims alone. The customer spent uh, like 790 some dollars to have the, the rims and the offset he wanted sized uh, to the built to look just like the factory you know note copa nova set up um, gloss black powder coating that was two hundred dollars uh, really nice wheels on the car tires are like new if you look they still have the teats uh, have really no no mileage on them and these are a uh, street legal drag radial they're a radial so they they ride nice and they are street legal front tires are like new also oh well, look uh, I'm not gonna say full tread because they've been driven on a little bit but they well, I should call them full tread that white see the white between the treads that's the um, that's the factory inspection paint on the tires it appears so and like the back the teats you know are still still hanging on there this was the only only year for the Super Sport emblems, 68, on the lower fender panels. It was also the first year for this body style and last year to be technically called a Chevy 2, which is kind of neat. Again, Super Sport medallions or emblems down on the lower fenders. Interior has all been restored. Seat covers, door panels, dash pad, the metal up on the between the glass and the dash pad is really nice, uh, not corroded or rusted. New carpet, competition her shifter with a functional reverse lockout this is a four speed pedal car has the heavy duty aluminum case uh, I believe it's a close ratio transmission in it very expensive functional gauges nice tack functional line lock GM seat belt nice headliner clean uh, heater control instrumentation and speedometer. The fuel gauge does work. This is also a unique car because the how they had the uh, ignition switch there on the dash instead of on the column. This I think is 60. It's the only body is the only year for this body style Nova that has the key there I think. Radio delete car. The metal on this car is really nice. If, uh, if 
you know anything about good sheet metal cars if you see it's this I'm fighting with the Sun here but the, the factory ribbing here in the door and how the, the seams come together a lot of these are been rusty and had all sorts of things put over them to try to deal with that also the lower quarters have the I don't know if you can, can see it or not, but have the factory pinch weld still down here. Oh, the drop downs are excellent. All oh, the factory contouring. You know, no rust there. The correct water drain plug hole. The trunk pan, as you can see, is is one of the best I've ever seen. Also looks like some uh, stamping here. Might be a partial vent or something like that. But that should show you how nice the, the metal is under here in the frame. nice had all new updated suspension springs shocks Caltech uh, suspension modifications there was over oh right around three thousand dollars spent on the 12 bolt rear axle to have a updated I believe it's a Mosier 373 posi limited slip unit in there strange axles all new, you know, brakes in the rear were all redone. I have a, a $1,300 receipt for the the brake system that was done on the car. It is a a disc a disc front brake car. Some fingerprints here. I need to wipe off from opening the hood. Very clean engine bay. And the the part number on these cylinder heads is uh, one I looked up on the internet. They say is more desirable for a streetcar than even the LS7 188 casting heads. Uh, they're capable of over 600 horsepower in a streetcar, naturally aspirated. Uh, has the big four row radiator and I do have I'm going to put on the correct formed uh, hose that has the GM part number in it for 68 big block Nova uh, that needs to be put on here I don't really like like that aftermarket look uh, again functional line lock all new wiring was put in the car during the restoration I don't know if you can see the clean color of the wires with all the sun glare. Uh, MSD 6AL box. The hinges were painted the right color. Uh, silver like they're supposed to be. Attention to detail in the restoration. Like the grill is a very nicely painted argent silver. Not painted with a spray can or anything but all you know laid out individually as a the car was put together nut and bolt and done just really nicely um, you know the bolts you know are are not rusty looking if you come back to the even the rear bumper you see that the bolts are you know uh, gold anodized just attention to detail on the car The 427 big block Chevy engine um, runs really well. It was just freshened up seven months ago. The heads received uh, all new valve guides and a valve job. 
Uh, guides were honed, of course, new stainless steel valves, all 16 of them, competition cam valve springs, uh, ARP studs, um, rocker studs, and uh, it's tuned really well. It runs really, really good. A really fast car. One of the fastest ones I've ever driven, actually, if not the fastest. But the Nicely done car. I'll go ahead and start it up here in a minute so you can hear it. Show you also uh, quality of the the metal in this door also. You can see all that factory ribbing. Very clean, rust free. Seals are nice. You know, new door panels, new seals. Let's see if I can get to the bottom of the door. As you see the doors are just awesome. All the contour factory contours with the it's hard to get the, the focus here, but the factory water drains. And the doors on a factory sheet metal car, if you know anything about why that's important, the doors just click right shut. You don't have to fight with them. They line up. The gaps are really nice and consistent. As you see, again, fighting with the sun, but the gaps are very consistent. And having the factory quarters is, is really nice because when most shops put these quarters on, they don't get the quarters put back in the right position. And then they, um, a lot of times, are too far forward, and then they got to slide the door forward. And then the gaps will be crap up here, and sometimes they'll even rub and chip the paint. And then they try to move the fenders forward to compensate. And then the grill and the doghouse panels don't fit right. But uh, as you can see, this car has all those you know, concourse type, concourse, whatever you want to call it, you know, number 10 type of gaps on it. And that's just because they started again with a, a rust-free original sheet metal car that uh, was already dialed in by Chevrolet back in the day, and they didn't have to try to reinvent the wheel. You see the over here is the same, really good gaps. Over here, I'm going to go to the other side of the car. There's just too much glare from the sun. But uh, over here, when you reach in underneath these lip, quarter lips, they're just pure, nice metal in here. Uh, nothing back there that's been played with, just really almost perfect metal. tractor combine driving by, or whatever that is. Try to maybe do a walk around again with another video when the sun isn't so bright. Just really makes it hard to see in this LCD screen what I'm actually filming. paint has that nice deep luster you can feel it's like you could dive into the panel I think that's just because it's got a lot of clear on it and a good quality paint as you can see you can see my my handsome face all the way you know back about everywhere now when you get over here you probably I don't know if you can or not because the 
Yeah, you still can in the trunk. The sun is so bright, it's almost blinding me today. But say, yes, yeah, you can see over here. Window glass is really nice, too. The windows roll up and down nicely. Some dust on it, some fingerprints, but it cleans up real nice. Paint on the dash. Got another tractor going by. The paint on the, the dash, again, I'm fighting with the sun, but you know where the ashtray is and the glove box paint is all really nice. It's not scratched. Get a new dash pad. That's about all I can think of. Hopefully you find this video helpful. Again, in the roof, same thing. Nice reflection. And you can see if I move, move my hand around, um, the reflection of my fingers in the paint. See the road, you know, everything in the reflecting in the paint. Inside here it has the, you know, those those like uh, tar rubbery, you know, things that are supposed to go on the control arms or they're stapled incorrectly. The, the correct, it's got all the, the bolts to hold the inner, inner fenders in and the correct, I don't know if you can see it, but the correct you know, bolts and cup washers up in there. The the frame is just, you know, super nice. Super nice frame. Again, uh, disc brakes, all rebuilt suspension and brake system. New springs and new silver shocks in there. And the tire tread is like, uh, you know, full tread. Oh, I forgot I was going to start it. Let me pause it before I end this video and I'll start this for you. To start the engine. Okay, it started right up. Sits here and purrs right along around, you know, 700 RPM. Even though the temperatures, you know, like 160, it still carries at idle, about 60 pounds oil pressure. Really good running, healthy motor, like in that was just freshened up seven months ago. You can see it. Blows the grass around out of the exhaust. It's got a nice sound to it. chrome on the rear bumper. Brand new exhaust system. Shuts off nicely without running on and pinging and all that, and starts nicely without having to fight with it. 
all those gauges in there work and the fuel gauge the emergency brake works really nice car one uh, again that was built you know pretty much from pieces starting with a fresh rust free original sheet metal body um, and you know really no expense spared it appears and this car you know couldn't be duplicated really with the cost of the parts and to find a rush free original sheet metal car to start with the 427 engine the heavy duty aluminum force case aluminum case four speed transmission the 12 bolt all gone through and all that you know take near seventy five thousand dollars to to build this car and again it was built to be an exact or near exact uh, of uh, um, you know to be just like the one of the 50 Copos in 68 that Fred Gibbs ordered through Chevrolet's Copo program and then were they were taken by Dick Harrell and converted into 427 cars and uh, most people can't afford to spend two hundred thousand dollars for one of those so here's a car that you can buy for about half the cost of what it would cost to to build it and about uh, you know a fraction of the cost of a two hundred thousand dollar authentic Copo 427 68 Nova SS car and um, something that is a just a really nicely done attention getter type of car and um, most people like black these black Novas and uh, the 427 call outs with the big block four speed pedal car 12 bolt 373 posi just a a really really neat awesome car and this is a car that can run on pump fuel and be taken to your local cruise night or car show event driven around town you know on nice days during the nice weather uh, but then again it's totally set up and ready to go to the drag strip with the functional reverse lockout you know all the, the tack shift point set at about six thousand uh, functional line lock which is right down here so if you're in the staging lane at the track you can actually hold put your foot on the brake hit this button as long as you're holding that button you can take your foot off of the brake do your burnout or whatever to lock up the front wheel so you don't roll past the line help you get a good launch and then like I said these drag these drag radials Mickey Thompson's street legal drag radials like new 255 60 R15. Real nice setup for a car that can be street driven to the track and can be very competitive also at the track and uh, no exotic fuels or anything crazy. Um, pretty sure the cabinet's hydraulic, but it's a big lift, you know, high duration one that really works well. It's a good combination in here how it set up the, the gearing, the suspension, and how the engine was done. is one of the, the quickest cars that I've, I've ever driven and I've driven some you know really big cubic inch 700 lift you know solid lifter 12 to 1 compression race motors and this one seems to to run just as good or better and it doesn't even have you know that you know 7 800 lift cam and it's not a race gas car so it's, it's a pretty impressive nice car I think whoever uh would buy it would be very satisfied with it it's been again it was a, like a no exper expense spared restoration nut and bolt and um, only one guy's had it since the guy built it in New York and he took very good care of it he's the one that just had the motor freshen seven months ago I have receipts for that um, but uh, that's all I can think of I'll go ahead and end the video thank you for watching